Hello everybody. Welcome back. Let's jump right into it. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Who are we talking? It is well that thou art here. Oh god. English is bad enough without adding old words to it. Also, let me know how the volume is doing. I'm kind of worried because I'm getting crackly on my end. So I hope you guys aren't getting crackly on yours. I am that which humans call Arceus. I have no idea how to pronounce this, so. Now I wish to know about thine appearance. Oh god, here we go. The beginning of every... Uh... They gave us more options this time. What is thy name? Don't make me type. You're gonna make me type. Good enough. Okay. Good enough. Cordelia. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. Wait, am I not originally from the Pokemon universe? Because that's gonna be a weird start to things. Normally we're just a kid leaving their parents' house. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. This is gonna be a weird start. And yes, she is playing with her stupid toy again. Cordelia, I should have just gone with Cord. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Why do I need to find you again? Why are you leaving me in this strange place? Why do you look like a giant eyeball? I'm very confused. I should also move my mouse before I end up clicking on anything that I probably shouldn't. Oh, it's me, why am I floating? Why do I look like I'm floating somewhere? I am floating. Nope, I'm falling. You should be a lot more panicked about falling and not worried about your phone. It was them trying to tie in Pokemon Go. Yeah, I guess I did lie. I have played Pokemon Go. <laughs> Isn't that the one from... No, I was wrong. I'm very confused. Why would you want to send this random person that's obviously not from this world to this world? I don't understand. What makes this person special? I guess me. What makes me special? Ooh, that is very bright light. Ooh, I'm blind. Wake up. Oh, do, uh, do wake up, won't you? I am particular towards fire type Pokemon. Are you alive, my girl? How is that what someone asks? Who is this person? Why is he wearing a helmet? He looks very, I mean, he should be concerned. He just found some girl unconscious in the middle of a beach, I guess. Maybe that isn't that odd. Oh, if it's not a helmet, it's a hat. It seems really hot to be wearing that sort of hat. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. I fell from the sky? Oh god. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. What is that... That lightning storm above that mountain? Is that where I came from? Let's go the logical route and be like, who the hell are you? I like to ask you the same, okay? He's got some brains. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come on, come now. Who in the world does that? Honestly, in the world of Pokemon, you got those people that fly around on the- Some people probably fall out of the sky, probably not frequently, but it's got it bound to happen. I really need some better clothes. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in the, these parts, would you? 
I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in quite a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could say? I, I don't even know where I am. Don't give them all the information. You're gonna give them all the information anyway. So you- yeah, This guy never answered my question. Who is he? Like, you can't just be asking me these questions and not even, like, giving me your name. So you don't know anyone here. You don't even know where to spend the night. Yeah, you're a little psycho girl. So this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Never give them all the information. Never seem completely helpless. Hmm. This is what that guy's thinking. Hmm. Well, I see. No gentleman would abandon a person in such need. You're suspicious. Don't like that. Oh my, I completely forgot. I just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you would appear here. I mean... Who knows? Ah, uh, but do you even know- Okay. This crazy person falls out of the sky. And you're- And this whole world has Pokemon, right? This is the whole world has Pokemon. You're- This person fell out of the sky. Okay. Yes, it's a little weird, but you know what? I can ignore that. But you're assuming that they don't even know what a Pokemon is despite your whole world having Pokemon. Like, I wouldn't just jump to the conclusion right away that, oh, you don't even know what a Pokemon is. Just saying. Pretend to be normal. Of course you don't. My, oh, yeah, that's a relief. So, you fell from the sky. It seems we have some common ground. Well, yes. These three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. And yes, what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Cordelia. I pronounce my name two different ways, so I don't really care. You'll hear me pronounce it differently each time. I'm probably just going to shorten it to Cord. That name is quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some li lovely meaning. But, oh, I do, I keep realizing I switched the first two words. Oh, well. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying, though. I guess your name is Laventon. My name is Laventon. And I am somewhat, uh, something of a Pokemon professor. There's Professor Oak. That is to say, I am a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here. Oh, they're leaving. Bye. I will blast and bother my darling Pokemon. Why must you run away from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! Honestly, that seems like a you problem. At least I'm wearing shoes. Why do my arms flap? You're supposed to keep them tight to your chest. Is that my phone that I dropped? It is. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Found something that resembles a phone. I think it was the phone that was falling through space with you. Probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel strange power emitting from it. The message appears on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mi mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Is that my goal? Catch them all? Like, you know, the, the tagline of the show. Where did you just put that? I'm sorry, but those pants, those... Shorts don't look like they have pockets deep enough for that phone, and that phone's weird looking as is. Mm, sorry, don't think that's... Don't think that's how... Blech, that phone's gonna fit there. Alas, yet another miss. What'd you miss? Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. You know my name, just use it. And I'm tired of catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way. 
And I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see? I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one's Rollet. Rollet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using sharp feathers. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. That Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water and it can bathe battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. I told you I knew about Pokemon, so what makes you think that I wouldn't know how to catch Pokemon? Some inconsistencies. Here you go, my girl, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. He gave me 50? I feel like that's a lot more than you normally get. So why isn't it white on the bottom? Why is it brown? Oh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. I mentioned that po that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to a minuscule size. That's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are recent measuring saying they're only Pokemon. Is this like okay? Is this like trying to logic something that we've already kind of just I don't know. Pokeballs already didn't make any sense, and now they're trying to logic it. <laughs> Why the Pokeball on Will Shrink is in the sun coming to you? Now you've called Pokemon. Now, I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you would catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, let the ball fly. It's quite simple, though, to be so far be it for me to say, so I suppose I'm given my own dire lack of skill in this area. I don't know how hard we can, far we can get for that. I didn't let go. Okay, I don't know why some, it doesn't let me hold it forever. I guess there's a time limit of how far you can hold it. Wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. It seems like you have quite the neck for catching this kind of cord. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Well, I too, my darling, and still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Are you afraid of your own Pokemon? There's Ashwat. I was like, oh god, is he gonna break out? Oh, they believe it incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon Lenore. What sort of Pokemon world are we living in? Just one more to go, let's wrap this up. Sharpest. Sharpish, shall we? You're criticizing me and yet I'm doing your job for you. Explain that. Now where there he is. I was like, where is this guy? <laughs> Yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. I miss the three stars. I like them better than the firework. Thank you very much indeed. What a, oh, what a relief. To have them all back. You see, these three Pokemon you call have only just arrived at the village to help with our research, yet they won't listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village and almost, almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Cord, I, I was taken aback by how well you used Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when. ably? 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 
aptly, I'm gonna say aptly, when you've only just arrived here. Again, what makes you think I am not, I'm not from this world? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Seek out all Pokemon. An object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. you see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its po Pokemon. You know, the zoologist in me is like, you're never gonna be 100%, my guy. I'm sorry. We in the field call such catalog a Pokedex. Yes, the proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in this region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must of course catch them. Therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented and not many have been mastered the skills of using them. So, what I'm gathering is that this takes place before like any of the other games and such. Like, Pokemon are still more wild than they are, like, like you see, like, in the TV show, for example, where they live beside you and whatnot. I mean, there's obviously a wild Pokemon, but I'm guessing and that's maybe why the Pokeball looks a little funky. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. Which kind of is like a little nasty, but I can't just take a picture of them and say, Here you go. Why must you take them all out of there? <sighs> Playing these games is, when you're older gives you a bit of a different perspective on things. Right situation for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now. What do you say? Shall we help one another out? Be skeptical. Come on now. They're just gonna make me say it. Why well, give you another option if you have to say it? Well then, then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me on to Jubilife Village. That sound sounded like a ghast. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it, but I just heard it in my right ear and I was like, this isn't Minecraft. That looks like a rip in the sky that maybe we should be a little concerned about, but nobody seems to care. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon. I hope you'll forgive my bringing her to the village for the bit. Why do we have a wall? What's going on? This way, if you please. Who in the world are you, and what is that bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. Hmm. For you to get he in here, someone must have vouched for you. Was it Professor Laventon? Do you two know each other? He's from a region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though, letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three more of them got away just a little while ago. If I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon drubbing me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have corralled him for sure. But the professor, well, unfortunately, it's just as Ray says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. 
so you don't badmouth people. But well, everything will be quite all right now. Horde here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. As in, she's gonna join the Survey Corps. What makes you think this is a good idea? We can't just take in any misfit that wanders out of the wilderness. I was like, that doesn't sound like it fits right, but I was not gonna question it. I'll allow it. Who's this? Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. I say corpse, I know it's core. You may call me Silene. I'm gonna butcher these names. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so? Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders among, in among us without any idea of their skills or origin. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh. A most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Oh god, something's gonna happen in the middle of the night. That is a big tree. Ooh. Electricity. Busy. Very shiny light. Ooh, yep, I knew that big tree was for something. Yeah, poor big tree. Captain Celine, ma'am, I brought cord. That's a lot of paperwork. You may enter. I'd hate to have that much paperwork. <laughs> Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable of going out into the Obsidian Field Lines and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidu, Starly, and Shinx. Three species right away, but none of us have ever managed that. Did this strange not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, of course. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you will be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our sor Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. That whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. Right? I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What did you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedox and Pokedex, and well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Cordelia must absolutely pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Come on, Cordelia, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see that they're rather curious about you. Well, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? I told you, I'm very particular towards fire type. And Cyndaquil is always adorable. Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Sorry other guys, but Cyndaquil is amazing. 
sorry, Ashley, and I don't remember your name. And with that, one Pokemon you fought at the prelude would be truly yours to keep. Good show, I've talked to Nickel back inside. It's Pokemon for you to take. It's yours. They look so sad. Ashwat especially, oh my god. They, I feel bad now. A word of advice. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Look at the, those two cheer on their pal, Cyndaquil. Well, maybe they just want to help Cordelia with her trial. That could be. They did go dashing from the village when Cordelia fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist with me with my research from now on. By the by, what species has Captain Sunny in charge of catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the obsidian field lands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but, but they work as a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fields. Meet me at the gate to your left as you leave headquarters. What a curious getup you have there. I could already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo from of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any mercantile needs here in Hisu. I've heard talk about you. you. fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've got a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd no and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before we head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP level reaches zero. feel weird that we can like move around. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? As they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. And for you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. And use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. If you can battle that well, I've got a feeling you may have your trial well in hand, even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Whenever you leave Jubilee, Jubilee Life Village, 
You have to pick a destination from your map and let res the guardsmen know where you're off to. That way someone can come collect you if things go wrong. Hey, I hope you make it through this. One boot of caught. Now we're on march. Where is Starly? Tether run the drop of a hat. Not to worry, crouch down in the grass and it won't spot you. That's how you get close. I'll admit, I'm impressed so far. Okay, where's Shinx? Forgot to share another smidgen of wisdom. How to throw your partner's Pokeball. The quote Captain Summers what I was teaching, have an item the ready but want to send out a Pokemon, press X. Pokemon at the ready but wants to have an item, press X. So you have to put one where you try to aim certain rocks or trees like this one. That figures me, I have to focus on Pokemon carefully to notice a thing like that. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock balls away you throw at them. You Pokemon tend to do on that, don't you? Oh god. Wait, did you really? You really did. You did it. That's three spe species of Pokemon caught. 
You really are some kind of prodigy. You must have given Professor Laventon the shock of his life. First you fall out of the sky, then you go and catch all of our escape Pokemon one after another. I also didn't believe the professor's story until I saw you in action there for myself. And here you are, with three Pokemon caught, you've completed your trial. Will be dignified. Seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. I don't seem so disappointed. Congratulations. You passed your trial, you can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is your words, an official, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Kit changed in the room you used last night and report to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. I was not expecting this much, like, officialness. I've been waiting for you. Why are you wearing your coat like that? I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. So you are Cordelia. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face, mace me in combat. You got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some prote potential. You're weird. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a potential disaster. But you passed your trial, that was put up to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you are part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciated it. If you enjoy my content, please hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you guys anything, and it helps me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. I will see you all next time. Bye!